Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to join two pieces together uh, and to unjoin them and how to fix a mess. First of all, we're going to rename that cube and we're going to name that cube cube middle with two D's of course. We're going to lay on the screen class key so you can see what I can what I'm doing. If you don't know where to find it, I made a tutorial about it. And I choose the, the text. If you don't have that menu, just press N and it pops up. Okay. Shift D, and we want to move it in Y direction, sorry. And we place it over there. And we're going to call that one the cube right. Cube right. Then select that one, Shift D, Y, and we're going to call that one cube left. Good. We have three different cubes. Okay, we want to join these two together. So hold down the shift button, control G, and they're joined together. You see, they're moving apart. One part, one part. But you see over here also, cube right, cube middle. You only have two objects. Okay. For instance, if you have uh, loaded down uh, some parts and you want to separate them, you can do it like I'm going to show you now to unjoin them. And how do you do that? You select the part, you go to edit mode, you select one vertex of what you want. Don't forget to select that. I'm going to show you what happens if you did not do that. You think of you thought that you select everything, but on the rear end, the non-invisible parts were not selected, so lay on that one, press B, select everything. Yeah, now is everything selected. You press P and press enter, and everything is now separated. If you now go back to object mode and you click on that one, you see cube right, cube middle, and this, we're going to rename it, should be cube left. When we have the three parts back. The only thing that you see is, if I'm clicking on that one, my cursor is over there, geometry, the same over here and the same. I want that that cursor is over there. So what I'm going to do is select that cube, Control Alt, Shift C, and there are th three possibilities. Or you put your geometry to the center point, to the origin point, or you bring the origin point to the geometry. That's what I want. Okay. So now everything is fixed. Now I can move this back, this back, and this back. Thus, this is all about joining and unjoining. Now uh, we're going to join these two together. So we're going for the, these two together, for instance. And we're going to use the same command, Control G. Now they are together. You see. Go to edit mode, and now we're going to fix the mess, the mesh. So I want to make one part. Okay, deselect that one because I don't want to select the back parts. Select that face, and we're going to select shift that face. We're going to delete, and we're going to see delete the faces. Now I'm going to make one part. You can make one part by uh, different methods. So select vertex. Going to select that vertex, that vertex, that vertex, that vertex. Press spacebar, and we're going to tip, type in bridge and loops. And he's done it. You can also do the same. Right click on that one. Shift right click on that one. Bridge and loops. And he's done it. The other possibility is, go back and do. Other possibility is if you select both of them, press F and you have it also. Same over here. Another possibility to do is select that point, hold down the shift button. Select that point, and if you have all four selected, press F, and they join together. Same over here. The only thing that if this is like that, your bridge does not work, because you have only have two edges. Just saying that. So we're going to do it again. Right click on that one, shift right click on that one, press F, and everything is one part. So if we move it aside, sorry, if we move it go to object mode, and we move it aside, you see that everything is okay. So 
you see that the origin is not in the center so what we're going to do is we're going to reselect it we're going to do the same Control alt shift c and we're going to say again origin to the geometry and it's positioned in the center so if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching